What's up, boys? So, we got another Miami Dakota hold a video for you today, boys. I'm talking a mad video, boys. I know. Bad content so far. But, my first topic of the day, I might have known for later. Should the Miami Dolphins acquire TJ Watt from the Pittsburgh Steelers? I know. I know. It's a big name out there. Steelers probably going to a rebuild. I mean, I see. I, I jokingly, I say it. But to be honest, I I see it. Uh, would I give up um X in like a first for next year? Um, that's my trade predictions. Um, if anybody else wants to throw in some ideas, please. Um, also, if you want me to subscribe to your channel, I'll subscribe to you. Swap for swap. Uh, another guy from the Pittsburgh says I try to acquire Devin Bush for linebacker depth. He's easily better than Ginko by so much. I mean, Bush only had two seasons, but Ginko is not has been living up to the potential I've been seeing. Number three guy I really want to go get, but I don't think he's a need, but it's more of depth. Deontay Johnson. I'd get like a fourth or a fifth, but watching a couple of his games, I see him drop a couple passes. I mean, sure, people drop passes, but people are human too, so I, I give it to them. My number three guy is I really want Mika Fitzpatrick back. I don't know what to get for him, but man, if I could go get him again, whoa, this team would be stacked. But then be moving him to corner or Javon Holland corner. I just don't like it. I mean, right now, from what I've been seeing from Javon Holland and Mika Fitzpatrick, I prefer Javon Holland because Javon Holland is great and cheaper to where Mika Fitzpatrick is great. But expensive. He's got a four year deal, seventy three million dollars, which is a lot, you know what I mean? Um and stuff. Tonight I'm hoping to make another YouTube video on NFL free at love free agencies. Um stay tuned for that. That might be around like five, five thirty. I'll talk to you guys up. Fins up and I love you boys.